Ladies and gentlemen, Papa Porus here, playing some more Battleheart Legacy. We have leveled up after accidentally grinding this queen several times. Let's go ahead and get some training from the Necromancer. I'm also going to check the shops to see if there's anything there. There might be an upgrade I haven't checked in a while. Now, what do we need? We need two intelligence, one charisma. I should have exactly three skill points. There we go. Perfect. And now my mummy has 50% more health. And I don't know if the mummy has a duration, but I'm okay with just the health. Like 50% is a really big increase to health. So we'll get that. And I don't know what I'm actually going to do after this point. Ooh, actually, <laughs> it's life. Okay, that's the apostrophe. This is the developers did have a little bit of trouble with the apostrophes on this one. So I can actually get this one next level since I have the charisma and endurance. Actually, I guess the charisma requirement from the previous skill didn't increase, but the endurance, I have it from the witch. Because I already put some for witch skills. So, um, I could get this, or I could go for more wizardy stuff. The wizard does have something good coming up here. Just a 10% bonus for fire, frost, and lightning. And more good skills coming down, just some better elemental damage would be nice. Because, you know, you want to have some controlling abilities, but also some actual things that kill opponents, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to swing it. Let's uh, go here. I went off camera and went around all the map again, which is very annoying because there's encounters every two seconds. Okay, now I say that and it doesn't happen at all in this whole entire long trip, but it was like I could not go two steps. Anyway, there's a 16 here and a 17 down here, so that's what we're going to try to do. Maybe I have to do some grounding on formerly cleared zones because I'm kind of running out of stuff that's level appropriate, but we'll see how this goes for me. We'll char I don't think I've fought these scorpions before. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, well, um, this thing is here. It appears to be... Oh, God, I teleported next to it instead of targeting it. Uh-huh, cool. Super cool. Alright, well, I think it's still shooting the, the charmed thing. Or, okay, now it's shooting my mummy. Okay, well, first impression of the scorpions, they're not too bad. Although this is my very first time doing any kind of fighting with a 50% bonus health mummy, whose health would have been finished long ago if I had not gotten that skill. Obviously, um, the more time that passes, the more that enemies are going to do damage relative to my mummy's health, and so the less impressive the mummy will seem. I don't think there's any other way that I can improve the health on that thing, so it's possible that entire skill will get obsolete at some point. Wait a minute. Don't I have corpse explosion? Oh my god, I'm sorry that I sh didn't do this. I should have totally changed out to Corpse Explosion at some point, because that is a much stronger skill. This is a pretty crappy skill. It's a bit of healing. It's my only healing at the moment. But I have five, you know, healing potions, because everybody's got those. Let's just go ahead. Oh, I can't change it, because I'm gonna... Ah, okay. Well, sorry if you've been yelling at me for the past several videos. This is all pre-recorded type of stuff. To, um... Use my Corpse Explosion that I weirdly forgot about. Oh, crap. What is I'm standing in a pit of fire. Uh, let's go ahead and down in here. There's a mage back there, which I should have targeted first. Okay, I'm going to teleport next to the mage and charm him. So that should make everybody, all these melee people and archer and stuff, attack the mage. Okay, what does it mean the mage? The mage? What is oh, maybe the archer fired an incendiary arrow? I don't think the mage can hurt himself. Because, like, when I use my own skills next to myself, I don't take damage. So it might be that the archer shot an incendiary arrow, and that's what was damaging the mage over time, while the mage was charmed and conveniently not attacking me. Okie dokie. Well, let's um, summon a mummy, turn on teleport, and then charm that guy who conveniently does appear to be a wizard. Oh, we can target another guy. Nice. Gotta watch out for my meat. Oh god, hang on a second, I'm standing in fire. There must have been another wizard. Or maybe the archers have incendiary arrows. But at any rate, I need to be a little bit careful about standing in fire. You know, when you're a wizard and you're like looking out at the people you're targeting, it's easy to forget about the ground that you yourself are standing on. So yes, this is a level 1 ability. I should probably get rid of it. My meteor looks impressive, but it is like a fairly early level ability. It perhaps ought to be changed. Though, whether I replace it for something totally different or just try to get a higher level elemental damage skill is an unknown quantity at the moment. A lot could change. This poison is a fairly low level thing. It's like a level 2 ability from the witch. This is level 1. I think this is like a level 3 maybe from the wizard. Oh, hang on a second. It's actually starting to bite me. Alright. So, we got all of our potions. Health is fine. 
though I do have the skill, the level one witch skill that's healing me. Um, I forget the layout of this place. I think we've been here before. I forget which way is the dead end, so we'll check up first. This looks like a more long-term thing. Am I just... Ah, I took a gamble. I thought, like, stuff would come up out of the gun. It's just unusual at high levels for there to just be, like, one enemy hanging around. Well, this is pretty easy, because it's just going to fight my mummy. Okay, cool. Well, what's up ahead? Always paranoid about stuff popping up behind me. Okay, let's charm that guy. That guy's a wizard, so we're going to send our cooldowns at him. I will also turn teleport on in case I need it. I don't know if Blizzard travels up far enough, but we'll just keep targeting that guy with stuff. I can't even see him, but if I click the button, he gets targeted by my stuff. Is he still alive? He's still going strong. Uh, or did I need to change my auto target to someone else? Okay, I'm gonna get out of there. You need to be charmed, Mr. Archer. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Okay. Is that, oh, that's a wizard. He's still alive. Okay, let's poison him. Life leech him. Summon a mummy again, which doesn't have anything to do with him in particular. Is there an archer back here? There totally is an archer back there. Okay, well, one archer shouldn't be too big of a problem. Drop a meteor on myself, and it doesn't hurt me. Wow, there's a lot of gold being dropped. Oh, so that's fire. Well, that was still a lot of gold. Okay, well, this appears to not be a dead end. So we're going to... Go back to the previous map. Teleport, a utility as well. Wait, what? Oh, I accidentally clicked on my blizzard. A utility as well as a useful combat spell. Okay, I hope there's treasure down here. I mean, if this is another place that is not a dead end, I'm going to be really annoyed. Ah, you guys. Wonder when you'd show up. Oh, the mummy is following me from map to map. Cool. Okay, we're going to just try to kill this guy who's close at hand. My mommy, I think, should be back on cooldown, or off cooldown, rather, on being available. But, man, it is so good relative to these monsters. I do wonder what I'm going to do eventually when the mummy doesn't tank so well anymore. Wish there was some way to improve that. Maybe spell power does? Oh, hey, this actually is a dead end. Okay, I'm glad I came back for this. 94 gold. To be honest, not really worth the trip. But, okay. We will take it, nevertheless. Gotta say, first impression, I think I'm pretty happy with that cooldown bonus. I don't know if, how much I can feel it, but it does seem like, you know, if you're ever still waiting for stuff to come back off cooldown, and you have a bonus cooldown thing, that probably means you need to keep your bonus cooldown thing, because you'd be waiting even longer if you didn't have the bonus cooldown thing. I'm so just gonna, uh, you know, moving the mouse down the... I, I could just about, like, oh, moving, clicking every button with the mouse. That's not lazy. That's good YouTubing. I'm clicking so you can look at my mouse and see what I'm doing. Whereas if I press the keyboard, you have no idea what I'm doing. It's educational. That's all that's really going on here. Gosh, it seems like every enemy in the game is resistant to poison. I guess it's kind of true in Dungeons & Dragons. Like, poison is the most resistant thing, but, like, undead are resistant to poison. Okay, there's a lot of undead, but then you also got snakes. Obviously, poison's not great against them. And then you got your, like, spiders. Now you got scorpions. I feel like, other than, like, just generic humans, poison is a very highly resistant thing in this game. Let's get my mummy back. And without seeing exactly what I'm doing, let's just click all my buttons. Oh, shit. There's a bunch of wizards back there. Um, Once that charm wears off... I'm in a heap of trouble. Correction, I am already in a heap of trouble. The charm did not even have to wear off for the trouble I'm in to be a heap. You know, one thing I like about the cooldown... Oh, jeez, I'm dying. Uh, one thing I like about the cooldown is um, charm coming back on sooner is really, really good. Because it is such a crucial skill when you're in a hairy situation. Meteor comes down, Blizzard. Meteor still seems to be doing pretty good damage. I mean, the nice thing about the low-level skills is that they are improved by spell power, which you continue to grow in as you get better. All right, uh, we got the home symbol, so I guess that was it, just to level with a bunch of stuff, and I don't think I leveled up. 
So, get to the chopper. Yes, that's, that's not going to be very good. Although, weirdly, my spell power is still, like, only five lower. Wait, why is my attack power lower, too? Oh, probably because of strength. Or, I actually, I don't know. I don't know how it all works. The point is, we're done here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.